Now that we've sorted out the movement, the jump, the animation for the jump and the speed of the jump, let's give our monkey something to jump on. So let's go to our level one, grab a block two and put it on the screen. I'm just going to resize that. So it's a little bit on the big side and we'll put it roughly there and see once we test the game, if the monkey can actually make it onto the platform. And here we go. So we're just going to see if we can jump up and that's actually perfect. And you can see that we've now again introduced a new problem, which is when we try to move, you can see that the monkey's animation is now stuck on jump left and jump right, which is not a good sign. And also another bad sign is I'm pressing jump right now and the monkey's just standing there, which means something's gone wrong. Let's go and figure this one out. We'll go back to our dashboard and we need to open up block number two and just figure out why it's not working. So we don't have any events for the block, so it can't be a problem there. Let's look at our collisions. Now collision is basically when one actor or one player hits another player. And we just have to see what's going on here. Note that there seems to be a perfect box drawn around this, and we're gonna talk about collisions a little bit later. So this seems to be just fine. If we go to the physics, it's, uh, yep, it's perfectly fine. It cannot be pushed because it's a platform, it can't rotate, and it's not affected by gravity because we don't want it just falling down to the ground. If we go to the properties, and yes, I can see that we have a problem here, but before I explain this problem, let's go back to our monkey and look at our touching floor attribute or our touching floor script. I explained in the last video that this little script here, these blocks are some of the most important in the game they check to see whether the monkey is touching the floor or not. And if he's touching the floor, he's allowed to jump. We set the animations by this. We affect the speed of the jump. So this is a really important block over here. Let's see what it says. It says, when self, that's the monkey, hits an actor of tiles, that means anything that belongs to the group called tiles, set touching floor to true. And that's where our problem is. Because right now, a monkey is touching a block, which is called block two, that's the brown one, which we would like the monkey to think is the same thing as touching the floor. So when he touches the floor, he runs. When he jumps up onto the platform, you can see that the monkey doesn't know he's touching the floor. So really, touching a block or touching the floor should equal the same thing. So let's go back to our block two, and we can see that our Block two belongs to this group called actors. Now what we need to do is take that block and change its group to tiles. So now the block is the same as every other tile, which means that when a monkey touches a block, he should react as if he's also touching the floor. So let's go and test this game. And let's have a look. So when he jumps on, well, you can see immediately that the monkey is running around on the block as if it's the same as the floor. He can now jump off the block. And that's really good because we've really got the starting of a fantastic platform game here.